Hello, this is the Fanfic Critic, aka Megan Wessels, doing yet another commentary episode. Today I'm taking a look at an early episode that I did, which would be episode 3 of Fanfic Critic, known as ABGN vs. Nostalgia Critic well, Slash. We're all in now, at the time when I made this episode and put it on MySpace originally, I was not aware of Sage's review of this lovely fanfic. Sage is a member of ThatGuyWithGlasses.com and he has this little, I'm not sure if it's really a fanfic critic show, it's called Masterpiece Theater where he reads the best of the worst fanfics. So he, I think he just reads bad fanfics and that's it. So I'm not really sure if it's the same thing, but I think his premiere episode was reading this fanfic out loud. I well, checked out the episode after I aired this one, it's like, oops, I <laughs> should have done my research, but, oh well. So, yeah. This fanfic is about the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia critic, who are two famous internet personalities. Um, at the time I filmed this, keyword filmed, they were having a conflict with each other. Not a real so, conflict, they're friends in real life, but they were having their internet personalities have a conflict. So, and this fanfic was, despi was depicting what if a they had a special truce. Yeah. When you hear the word slash, you know where this fanfic is going to go. Now, one of my main problems with this fanfic, it's about two real people who are not gay and who have either wives or girlfriends in real life. I think the angry video game nerd is actually married. I think. Not quite so sure, but I know that they aren't gay. And I just don't like when people write fanfics about real people. That's just my thing. I don't like it. Maybe I'm wrong to say it, but that's just how I am. And if you guys try to say that the Angry Video Game Nerd and the Nostalgia Critic are not real people, they are. That'd be like saying that I'm not a real person. I may be the fanfic critic, but I am a real person. I talk to you guys on YouTube when you leave comments. And as far as I can tell, fictional characters do not talk to their viewers. So the fanfic starts off with the angry video game nerd. He wants the nostalgia critic to like him. He doesn't hate him. Or he don't hate him. Sorry, Hamlet Hamster, that's not how you speak. I've read fanfics after this one that have a lot more grammar than this one, but you gotta remember, this was episode 3. This was like the third fanfic I reviewed online. So I had a lot to learn as the fanfic critic. If I thought this was bad, oh, there was worse to come. <laughs> There's an upcoming... Well, if you guys remember that fanfic I reviewed in the Spongebob Marathon, the first fanfic, Sandy has a baby. Oh god, that... That had the worst grammar I've ever seen. It made this one look pretty decent when it came to grammar. Don't you mean that? That guy with the glasses? This guy really effed up with simple words, though. It drove me bonkers. And he had been attracted to men ever since. I never thought that may. I mean, did this person even bother reading this over when they went over this? I don't know. I mean, for me, if, you know, to write a fanfic, oh. I've always done this, just read it over, and I mean sometimes you notice grammar mistakes after you post online, but what I tend to do, I tend to take down the story and fix it, and then put it back up. But it seems like these people, these authors, they don't bother fixing anything, they just leave it up there for all of its crappy glory, which is kind of sad actually. And I'm under the impression that Hamlet Hamster doesn't really care about his story, seeing when I visited his profile page, all he said was hello. That's all it said. No description, anything, he just says hello, and has a... His profile picture is a KFC bucket. Yes, when I think of fanfics, I think of KFC. <laughs> oh yes, this is the part where the angry baby nerd silently knocks on the door. Okay, if you're knocking silently on someone's door, they obviously can't hear because silently means you can't hear shit. Exactly. You can't hear anything if you're knocking silently. See, I'm silently knocking on the computer screen, but you guys clearly can't hear it because it's silent. You get the logic there? <laughs> yeah, reading this out loud, I felt like I was losing brain cells by the minute. Yeah, this person, this happened a lot throughout the story. They kept on using wrong versions of a word. 
they use the Christmas presents term, which is annoying. And who speaks like that? Well, well, we meet again. That's something that a, a, a cartoon villain says in like a crappy cartoon show. And then he has a sudden change of thought here. One minute he's all being a jerk to the angry vegan, and the next minute he's like, Oh, well, you've had a hard day. Come on in. <laughs> Okay, right here, I probably shouldn't have freaked out about that. I was just being picky at this point. Of course. And I would think leaving beer in a suitcase would not be a bad idea. What they don't show in this fanfic is that they go to open the beer and then it sprays them in the face. Because <laughs> when you're walking around in a, with a suitcase, it's obviously swinging back and forth. So if you open up a thing of beer, would it like spray you in the eye? Well, I don't know. Perhaps not. I think after I aired this on YouTube, well, if you check out my MySpace page, I think I like aired this like in June or July of 2009, and I started airing my web series on YouTube in January. So by the time I aired this in January, they had already made up, I think. But I, I believe this fanfic was written before they had finally made up. I think it was during the first final battle. There's two final battles, so the first one wasn't really a final battle. Now what drove me nuts about this fanfic... I mean, if you're going to write fanfics about real people, you can have them at least be in character. And I'm sorry, the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia critic were not in character whatsoever. Okay, maybe the nostalgia critic a teensy bit. Well, actually, he was more like Ask That Guy with the Glasses. But the angry video game nerd was nothing like how he is in real life. I mean, he was like a... He was really, I don't know, wimpy in this fanfic. Yeah, I pretty much predict the next few lines of the fanfic with what I just said right here. You can tell this is an early episode of my show because, first of all, I'm in a different room, and secondly, I'm wearing that god-awful jean jacket. This was back when I still held back with my emotions. I think I finally stopped... Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, I held back a lot in my earlier episodes. I mean, yes, the first episode I go all crazy with the Sweeney Todd razor, but still. Compared to later episodes, that's kind of timid. I think I started to go all out, like, episode 8, the Spongebob Marathon. That's when I finally lost it. Well, of course... Really? I don't think it ever really works like that, though. Most of the time when you, like, have a crush on someone, most of the time they don't return the feelings for you. Don't ask why I did that. <laughs> you guys watching this, you're probably like, what the fuck? I just realized now that when they meant head, they didn't mean, like, his real head. They meant his other head. Oh my god, I don't like it. Oh my god, bad breath. <laughs> That would be awkward. I love you too, Miss Delphi, James says with Carol from the Bedroom Eyes. You don't know how much I wanted to hear that. Yeah, this is where the fanfic starts to get into the sex part. Which, I mean, it probably is one of the most unrealistic sex scenes I've ever read. Makes me wonder if this person, I don't know, it, it was just very over the top. Again with the grandma. He teased around the different Yeah, the imagery in my mind as this is being read out loud. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad for you guys. Don't stop. At least you didn't have to read it out loud. Be grateful the for that. To okay, right here, after I do the he 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 thing, I forgot to read an entire sentence from the story. Sorry, it was just, I got caught up with this thing when I'm laughing. Yeah. So I missed an entire line. I think the nostal I think the nerd explains why the his boxers and stuff. Okay, well this is nearing the end of part one, so I will see you all in part two of this commentary. Bye!